What's going on folks? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Today we're taking a look at the MindFlex. This came out in, I believe, 2009 and the idea was to use your brain waves to move a ball. I was so stoked when I found out that Star Wars had a game that was going to be used like this where you use the power of your mind in order to move balls around a thing. This came to me from my local secondhand store. Actually, they pointed me to it as soon as I entered the building. And uh, let's just say that they like to support my YouTube channel with uh, whatever tech they can. Now my kids got into this, so it's not a perfect opening. They got into it, and then I was supposed to clean it up. But I forgot to clean it up beautifully. I put it back and never, you know how it goes. So, yeah, anyways, we got lots of fun stuff here. You put this, uh, you put this on your head. It sends the brain waves. It sends the brain waves, ladies and gentlemen, to the pickup in here within this base unit you strap this to your ear send your brain waves in here and ultimately it affects a fan in here the more you concentrate the more it uses this fan uh let's get this thing out of here and uh we'll have a try man look at all this stuff this thing has more strap-ons than your favorite marital aid I wish my marital aids were that fancy. Look, Ma, I got a toy that reads brainwaves. And it's 10 years old. Man, I'm gonna really need my crystals for this one. There, that's better. Let's set the mood. You know what really helps me set the mood? Burning things. That's right. I like to burn things. Okay, so here's the headset. And this piece needs to be right up against your forehead that's interesting this piece needs to be right up against your forehead to read your brain waves and these need to be clipped onto your ears okay now to get a perfect test i'm actually going to wipe just a little bit of vaseline uh on the pickups uh on my ears and on the forehead to make sure i get a good signal i want to see how much lag time it takes this thing to kick in or to stop Alright, so it's been giving me a bit of a rough time. The calibration uh, definitely seems to be an issue. Either I can't get it to work or it'll stay on 100%, whether I concentrate or not. So this headset is supposed to uh, read brain waves and understand the brain wave of concentration. And the more you concentrate, the higher it's supposed to go. Um, I'm not concentrating on particularly anything right now. And now I'll try to concentrate. Okay, now I'll go back to not concentrating on anything. Um, so I definitely think that this thing has the ability to do something. I'm just not sure how well calibrated it is, how uh, powerful it is, or how good it is at figuring all this stuff out. But still, this is kind of fun. All right, once I get this through. Just the idea that you could use something like this as a state of technology. Really interesting. Okay, I'm gonna take it off and see how long it takes to figure it out. The ears are unclipped, the headset's off. So that's definitely, that's definitely a little bit of lag. So we all know what this thing does. We all know how it works, but you can get any video on that on YouTube. What there aren't videos about this on YouTube is a teardown. So let's get into this sucker. I want to see what kind of technology we got on the inside of here. Okay, so I got it mostly all apart. All I'm going to do is take out the Phillips head screws. I'm going to do that off camera. Be right back. All right, screws are out. Let's see what we got on the inside, if I can. Man, the one thing I love about every, all the technology before 2010 is that there aren't so many clips. I want to say there weren't going to be any clips on this, but there must be. No, I bet they had some Phillips under here too. One sec. 
All right, so this thing totally ticked me off and I might have used a bit more uh, anger than I should have. I could not get through here. I could not get those tops off, so I was like, screw it, it must be a clip I can't see. But no, it actually was a uh, Phillips head screw in the back. Keep drilling, you'll get them out. And uh, it's okay, I can fix this. If I can fix what was given the original board a hard time to begin with. So we got lots of switches here. Definitely got lots of switches here. I'm just going to take this thing apart and resolder it. Again, where are my clips? Okay, so we got the speaker on the side. Got switches all around here to let us know when the unit has made its first turn. That's how that works. We only got two small motherboards. We got one right here, we got one over here. And I'm taking this thing right apart. There we go. Okay, so let's have a look at the first motherboard. Interesting, we actually have a terminated end, which is a good sign of quality to me anyways. It's interesting how they have a daughter board like this. I keep being told in the early 90s we did this because uh, the CPUs and memory were so difficult to get back then. were so difficult to get back then that uh, they often had to switch suppliers like midstream pretty much because of, that, and because of that oh that doesn't look good down there I think that's flux that flux didn't seem to last too long I'm going to take that out and do a flip over so we can see what it looks like better once again here's the motherboard you got some folks out there who love this money shot so I believe this is the uh, the memory, and that this will be the uh, CPU. Another CPU right here, but I love it when I see these daughter boards like that. It's just so cool, so neat, so neat. Okay, let's take a look at the other side. Of course, on the other side, all it really gets that light board. Nothing particularly interesting there. Interesting gear mechanics. Got the main motor right there to uh, blow the air. Yeah, that's just basically a fan to blow that piece. Now, let's see the headset. Next up. Okay, so for Phillips head screws later, pop it out, and we see that this side is specifically just for power. Go figure, the uh, main pickup must be over here. Got the on off right there, LED, of course. Let's see what's on the inside of this. Yeah, when this thing first came out, actually I didn't hear about it, but there was a Jedi version, uh, of course, sold with the Star Wars name, of course. And I thought it was the coolest thing, and the fact that this was entering the consumer electronic market was just amazing. So I got thinking, you know what, what do we, if we can do this, we must be able to get those, like, uh, brain readers. Or it must be easier for us to get consumer electronics that can read brain waves. And I was particularly interested in that, because uh, now we're getting way out there. But I was interested in, uh, in brain waves for a Halloween special. Get like a Ouija board and hook someone up to a brainwave scanner. Summon some demons and see what the mind did. The power of positive thought, perhaps. Maybe that's all that demons are. If you believe it, then it exists. And maybe we could find the frequencies at which demons exist in. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, there's not really a lot to this. Jeez, that's interesting though. It almost looks like 
This almost looks the same as the other one. We got uh, another memory unit, daughter board. I believe that's the main CPU. If uh, if I am horribly wrong with this, folks, please. I'm by no means a professional. But if I'm horribly wrong by, about this, please leave a message or a comment. I'm not seeing anything here that would make me think, oh, this must be the thing that actually reads your brainwaves. I'm going to have a look under here, see what that chip says. It's probably going to take me a minute. Please excuse me, folks. And that's the daughter board. Give me a sec, let me get that uh, sticker off there, and maybe we can see exactly what's on the chip. Let me get that cleaner. All right, so that's a Neuro Sky chip. Let me do some research on that real quick. All right, it turns out Neuro Sky is the manufacturer that produces uh, consumer electronics that work directly with your brain. But again, I'm not seeing where it, what picks up on the brain waves here. I've never seen a chip pick up on something like that. Usually, a chip does the processing, not the collecting of raw data, right? I just don't see what would collect the raw data. I don't see a sensor on here. But then again, sensor chips these days uh, are usually something as small as a capacitor. Perhaps this is the brainwave sensor right in here. Nah, it doesn't look like it would be though. I could be wrong, that could be the sensor. I'm just not seeing it, I'm not feeling it. I'm just not seeing where it, where it would be. If you know, please leave, uh, leave a comment. I would really appreciate it. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Nev from Nev's Tech. Please like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Definitely helps me out and uh, helps my family out too. So, if you could, I'd really appreciate it. That's it for me. Nev from Nev's Tech. Please have a good one, folks. Take care of each other.